Hey everyone! So today's video is going to be about my Law of Attraction success story. Yes! <laughs> so I feel really inclined to share this because I've kind of talked my ear off with my friends and family and they've heard all my stories already and I've preached to them about how amazing it is and how life-changing it can really be. But I still want to be able to encourage someone else out there to try it out for themselves if they haven't. So if you have not heard of the Law of Attraction before, there's so many great videos. I suggest starting with The Secret if you haven't watched that. Even here on YouTube, you can watch so many videos that can inspire you and give you more information on the Law of Attraction. Really quickly, the Law of Attraction basically is being able to imagine whatever it is that your heart desires, feel as if you have it, and let God, the universe, the source energy, whatever you want to call it, to take it in its hands and bring it to fruition for you. Again, the key is really being able to imagine, feel, and detach. And I know detaching could be the hardest part, especially because we live in a society where everything is really at our fingertips nowadays. We can order food and it's at our doorstep. We can order groceries and it's there. So being able to just let it go and believe that it's gonna happen is really key here. But this is my success story on how I was able to attract money into my life and how my life is going to be changing because of my manifestation. Shy of a year, I started a new job and I go to my office space, I'm checking out my, where I'm going to be every day, and the first poster that I see is a quote by Pablo Picasso that says, everything you can imagine is real. It was just so bizarre to me because I didn't expect to find a poster like that in a workspace. Usually, you know, I would imagine to see flowers or pictures of trees and inspiring quotes, but nothing along the lines of that. So once I'm there, I rearrange the poster to have it right in front of my monitor. So when I look up, it's the first thing that I see. And as time goes on, I decide to enroll into graduate school. School is a little expensive. It is not cheap. And I have to start thinking of a way of either increasing my income or having another source of income. And I remember thinking to myself, okay, I'm not sure how this is going to happen, but it's going to happen. I'm going to manifest it in some way, somehow, I'm going to be able to pay my school while still not being so tight on a budget. I remember looking up at the poster and thinking, okay, maybe I can get a new job opportunity that's going to pay me what I feel I deserve to get paid. And I say that because I have had experience in the work field, I have gone to school, so I really felt that this number that was in my head wasn't a number that was unreasonable, but at the same time was a number that I felt was what I deserved for my experience. I remember imagining how helpful that increase in income would be for my life. And I thought about it, I felt it, I imagined how free, how much more free I would feel like, and I let it go, maybe a little bit over half a year ago. So I really didn't obsess over the idea. For a Saturday class, I had a career development course where we were instructed to bring our resume and to tweak it up a little bit to see what we can change and also to work on our elevator speech. I left that class feeling really confident with my resume and I wasn't necessarily looking for a job, but something inside me told me just send it out, see what's out there, throw out your resume and see what bites. And if something bites, cool, and if something doesn't, that's okay too. So within two weeks, I get a call from a company and it was one of the, the companies that I had been eyeing for some time and I thought they were very reputable, their name was well known, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So I ended up going and of course they asked me the question, you know, what is the compensation that you want to get? I hate that question and I'm still getting used to being assertive with the answer but I said one dollar less than I had thought of months ago when I was manifesting. So I wasn't upset with that dollar less but of course at the back of my mind I was thinking, dang, I should have just said what I was saying months ago, why be afraid? You know, what's the worst that's gonna happen? They're just gonna say no. But to my surprise, they ended up calling me and offering me the job. They said the amount that I had imagined when I was manifesting. And it was insane. I felt so happy and excited because I knew that that was exactly what I had manifested. What my manifestation was came to light. Although it wasn't overnight, it still came to me. During that same time, I'm out with my mom. I think we had gone to Porto's. We went to go get some breakfast. And I was telling my mom, I don't know how I pay for school. I really don't know how I pay for school and manage my life. But somehow it happened. And I let her know that I believe in manifesting and how important it is to just put the idea out there and somehow it'll come to you if you really believe in it. And the next day, I end up getting a check in the mail. The check wasn't a large check, but it was some money that I was owed. 
and it was definitely helpful because it helped me have some money between the time that I would be getting my next paycheck. I'm gonna explain how ecstatic I was with those two things happening in such a short, within literally two weeks. Although I had manifested this months ago and it didn't happen overnight, I knew that it was something that I had asked for. Literally have not shut up about my story. I've shared it with everyone that I can possibly share it with because I think it's so, so important to know how powerful our minds are, how powerful it is to set that intention and just believe and to just really imagine what it is that you want in your life. And if you can start with this, imagine what you're able to do. Imagine how you can transform your life. So before I go on and on and on about this subject, I just wanna share that I think it's something that you should try out if you haven't tried out before. You just believe and you will see that it will come. I know it. So thanks again for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.